One of the country's most notorious child murderers gestured and swore at the media as he was handed a second indefinite prison sentence today. Stephen Roger Williams is already serving a life sentence for the murder of his six-year-old stepdaughter, Coral Allen Burrows, in 2003. And in July this year, he attempted to murder his cellmate at Rimataka Prison. Our reporter Hamish Cardwell was at the High Court in Wellington today for his sentencing. Stephen Roger Williams bashed his stepdaughter to death 16 years ago. It took 10 agonising days for her body to be found near Lake Ferry in the Wairarapa after a huge search. But at his sentencing today, Williams wanted to get on with it. Stephen Roger Williams, you have pleaded guilty to one charge of attempted murder. Have you anything to say to this court as to why sentence should not be passed upon you according to law? Nah, hurry up. Justice Churchman says the 45-year-old attacked a fellow inmate in July because he believed he had narked on him for having tobacco hidden in his cell. He went to his cell and threw boiling water over him and then began striking him in the neck area with a sharpened plastic knife. The victim sustained one stab wound to the back of the head and three to the back of his neck. He also suffered extensive burns to his neck, chest, upper torso and arms. It was William's third violent assault on a fellow prisoner in five years, having previously been given a preventive detention sentence in 2017 for a separate attack. Crown Prosecutor Grant Burston described the similarities between the violent assaults. The attack's been planned. The intent was to kill and disappointment has been expressed afterwards at the fact that the victim was not killed. Justice Churchman sentenced Williams to a minimum of 14 years in jail, saying it was his third strike. The preventive detention sentence means Williams cannot be released until he can prove he is no longer a risk to society. Justice Churchman says it might seem pointless to impose another such sentence, but it was a matter of principle. You have told your health assessors that your intention is to kill again, so that you will be sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. I have to tell you, Mr Williams, you do not need to do that to achieve your objective of remaining incarcerated. During the sentencing, Williams eyeballed the press bench and swore at and threatened to kill a photographer. He noted that you completed... No, just be be quiet, thank you, uh, Mr Williams. He noticed that you had... Williams refused to stand when asked by the judge and knocked a cup of water off the bench in front of him. Williams, who has 98 previous convictions, had refused a lawyer and did not offer a defence in court. Rimutaka Prison said in a statement it reviewed his security classification at the time of the most recent attack and found it appropriate. It says assaults are often spontaneous, as was the case with this one, and he will remain classified as a maximum security prisoner. In Wellington for Checkpoint, Kohamish Cardwell, TNA.